Red Vibon, why did you bend down to the ground? Why didn't you read for the sun? Do you beat your flowers to graceful round? Do you girls a thunder from here? I don't picture my flowers and thunder to invite me. I love from sunshine so much, I rejoice in the light. But I have no strength to strive and scare arms. And I'm lonely when bells down on the ground. I dance to Africa. I'm not a fear of the future. Blood of life, strains of tenderness, flexibility, the ability to survive and not break. This is a woman. This is life. This is love. This is grace. True beauty that cannot be broken or destroyed. She just exists. And always. This is the beauty that lives in everyone. This is the beauty that saves our world. One may cast shadow over her or put her down, try to destroy or discredit her. Then it looks like she doesn't exist. But it's not true. At such times, she is simply not visible for our eyes. It's difficult for her to express herself. But her essence. The soul remains the same. She just breathes. I use the pronoun she to reflect the image of Vagonum or what it symbolizes. This is not by accident. Yeah, it may be in court in test of grammar, but it's very accurate in conveying the idea. By this, I emphasize that this is exactly an image of woman's beginning. Let's look at the first painting, Vagonum's Dream, by a remarkable Ukrainian artist, Oleg Shapiak. The girl Vagonum, covered by snow, sadly bowed her head. This time, 
is not the best for her flourishing. But under the snow, her berries remain red. This beauty, all the same, stays on life. We hear the state of this girl in the first section. Listen to the beginning of the piece. Sound throughout the piece, constant repetitions of one sound in the narrative. It's a kind of image of the inner world, pulsation of blood in the lines, humility and expectation, maybe hope, and the belief that the snow will melt and the sun will shine and delight you with its rays. This is the continuation of life. In frozen state. The minor melody moves very, very carefully. Note that it moves mostly in seconds. What is an intonation of a second? It's a sigh, a sob. These are quiet tears, silence, invisible crying. The melody is moving around one sound. It sounds like a whisper. And now let's look at the painting by the artists Maria Kolekova and Nadia Polyanovnukova. Both are named Red Vabionu. How beautiful the girls are in the rays of the sun. How lovely the Vabionu bush is. They are alike, and they? How do you think? What do these paintings have in common? Write in comments. Do you hear the sun flares in the beginning of the middle section? First there is an upward movement, an eternal carpet, and then scattered sounds of the downwind like playful sun raises. And then, what is it? In this picture, we can see the beginning of the melody that consists of 16 notes in the solo part, accompanied by 8 notes in the piano or orchestra part. This melodic movement was already in the previous section. It's the same whisper. It's her shy voice. Gradually, development comes to full headache. The chord sounds in solo part. It's like a dance. But it's performed with cut. Here should be combination 40, but here is it's cut. And that's not even the main material. How does it why? It's important. But I won't talk about it now. We'll discuss it. Write this out write this out in comments. And what sounds on the orchestra part? Listen. This is the opening theme, the main theme. But here it sounds in the major. Now it has become the embodiment of long awaited dream coming true. It may also be tears, but now there are tears of happiness. And that same motif with repeated sound again tells, out, tells us about some kinds of expectation, maybe a premonition. And 
and then we hear a motif that like autumn prepare us for the winter. This is a modulation back to the minor. The first thing comes back, but an octave higher. What does it mean? This is a reminder that life is cyclical. Winter will return, and our beauty might freeze again. But it doesn't mean that she will die. She never dies. She always lives in our hearts. Beauty isn't a fight. She doesn't wrestle. She doesn't compete. I don't strive for fights. I'm not appeared to hit it all. Why? It's simple. That's not her mission. She doesn't belong to you. She doesn't seek life. Because she is light. She is just needed where she is. And her voice is always quiet. If we take care of beauty, she delights us. If not, then we deprive ourselves of its gift on our own. And now I'm talking about grace that lives inside us. We should behold and cherish her in ourselves and each other. Thank for your attention. I look forward for your questions and thoughts in the comments. Bye-bye!